What is up, YouTube? <laughs> we are building the dots in the day for Spooled Up TV. My name is John. I'm not Jesse. I have no clue what's going on. But this dude's got his crossover pipe built. He's got his head is built. All that stuff. It's all sitting up in there pretty. I can't wait for him to get done. He's got to get to it, though. Got to get them waste gates in, so we got to cut some holes and get to a welding guy. But he's doing pretty good. I'm excited for him. I can't wait for this thing to be running again. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Love you, bro. Okay, so uh, I gotta start this video somehow. Oh, dude, I'm so far behind. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna make a pledge that I'm gonna start editing things as I film them. Because what has happened is I missed the stuff of us putting the engine in the car. Um, whoops, missed that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Everybody's seen an LS in a car. That's an LS in a car, it just happens. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the TR6060 trans mount because I have that footage. Um, I'll, I'll do a quick montage of some other stuff I've done uh, and we'll go into making the hot side piping for the turbo because that's important. That's what this video will be about. We After that, we will be caught up because I'm filming this the same day I'm editing. And then after this, I'll just edit as it happens and I'll try to get projects done quicker and uh, stuff like that. So let's get back to the regular viewing and yeah, moving forward. Yes, sir. Uh, what are you doing in my shop, officer? Giving myself a ticket. Oh, what kind of ticket you get? They don't even matter no more. License the ill, baby. I just always get tickets. Look, this is a Porsche. This is another Porsche. Okay, so let me show you what we did. We got the engine in, which I don't remember if I showed you once it was in, but got the engine in. Engine's in, it's mounted. Use dirty dingo mounts. Um, relocated the alternator. Everything fits good. Steering shaft's not hitting nothing. So yeah, that's that. Um, Next big part is nobody makes a TR6060 mount for this car. So I had to make a TR6060 mount for this car. Oh, it's getting lighter. There we go. So what we did was we took a piece of 3 16 steel and we bent it, cut it off to fit in here. And then we made the bends on the press. Over there, there's a press. Now, next step is to make, I uh, cut a big section out because I didn't know where that was gonna land. So, I'm going to make a mount for this into the cabin, so the shifter's mounted. And once that's done, we are gonna be Gucci. These manifolds, we tried, we, we had some nice big like tubular manifolds that we're gonna use and can't. This is it with the manifolds on. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so the manifolds on. Got like 30 and a half. A little over 31. So we got like a quarter inch on each side. As we would have had, what was it? A quarter inch on each side. Maybe. Uh, we would have like a quarter eighth inch on each side between the shock towers. So just wasn't realistic, kind of sucks, but it's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're using factory manifolds that John found in his yard under a hood. Uh, so I cleaned them up, painted them a little bit just to, you know, have them a little nicer. Uh, this one pretty much comes out where you want it. So let me show you real quick. So this one comes out about where I want it to come out, except 
I want it to point up a little straighter. So I'm gonna weld a V-band, I'm gonna cut it a little bit more, weld a V-band so it can come straight out over top of the alternator. This one, however, so this is the one I'm gonna have the most problem with. It's, if you see it now, it's facing directly into the frame rail. Um, so we gotta get that right. This one's not gonna be too bad. We got a good welder back there now. Um, behind that welder, this welder right here. Behind that one, there's another welder. So the manifolds are either cast iron or cast steel. Everything I'm finding, one dude is arguing to the T that it's cast iron. I think they're cast steel. Either way, um, I am gonna try to weld them myself and fabricate them up to make them work. I'm not a fabricator, but if we can make it work, then we'll make it work. Plan B, um, which is take some uh, stuff here, some exhaust that I got to make my hot side piping, and cut it and make it fit here. What I did was took the piece that shot straight down, cut it off, I tried to flip it. That didn't work. So we got a piece of tubing and cut it to where it fit in there. And I'm not a great welder. Um, these welds look pretty good right there. They're not bad, but I'm not a welder. I tried to grind some of it down, but I'm gonna wrap it anyway, so I don't care, judge me, I don't care. Um, but we welded this on and then made a piece for this runner so that it's gonna be flowing, and it really isn't too much different than the factory one, uh, but it points in the direction we need, which is what we wanted. Because we need this. On there, to point forward, like this. So, now it points forward, and we should be able to run piping up here and over. I had to figure out how to do this one. This one was the easy one and now it's turning into the not easy one. Uh, we gotta run this here. And then this is where the turbo is gonna sit. Here's the turbo. This is where the turbo is gonna sit. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna mount it here-ish. And then, yeah, then it's like piecing a bunch of garbage together. We're gonna go ahead and get some stuff to build a mount for, or like a bracket for the turbo. Um, James is gonna have to run to Menards at some point, so I'm gonna run to Menards. And uh, yeah, so cue Menards montage now. So what we got going on is we're trying to mount the turbo. I made a bracket here, which um, I'm gonna strengthen up, but right now it's just held on with a C-clip, um, like a clamp. So what I'm thinking is, here, maybe I should turn this so you can see it. Maybe. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, right here, um, Puts us at a little bit of an angle so we can get this into our intercooler piping, which will be in here. We're clearanced here just a little bit, enough for the uh, turbo guard yeah, uh, filter. If we have to, we'll notch this out, cut it out, whatever we gotta do. Um, but it also gives us a lot of room to do some of the other things we really wanna do or need to do. We got a ton of stuff done now. <laughs> All right, so. We have our bracket made right here, um, and we mounted the turbo to it. I should have showed you that, but I didn't. Um, but I took the turbo back off so I can start making the piping. So we have the hot side for the driver's side almost done. 
Um, the passenger side should be a little bit easier, um, but where we're at now, we have the V-band welded on. Um, and now we're making the angle that's gonna turn into that little collector pipe. And we're gonna weld that on right over here. And then we're gonna go fast and do burnouts and stuff. Crazy, uh, my hair's got the corona, no big deal. Um, okay, so last we checked in, we were building a crossover pipe to go from manifold to manifold. And that's what we're still doing. Well, we just finished it up. Um, so what we had to do, we had to put the V-bands on the manifolds and then build something to go around this because I wanted a, turbo bra a bracket to hold up the, just the turbo. Um, I, I didn't want any weight on the crossover pipe or on the manifolds. Um, considering these are cast, I don't know how well they're gonna hold. Um, the last thing I wanna do is put a bunch of weight on it and weigh it down. So that's how you crack stuff. So what I'm gonna do, or what I did, was made a bracket. This will hold the turbo by itself. I could take these all completely off and the turbo will sit right here, um, which is great. But I had to bring it around here and then into the collector to the turbo. And then I had to bring one from here and down because I didn't want to get in the way of where the thermostat and everything was gonna go. So, because uh, the radiator sits here, goes up to the thermostat. So I didn't want to get in that way. So I had to go down over and across and up. So we did that here. Let me go ahead and grab. I've only welded a couple times in my life. Um, one of the times you saw was me welding this on and I missed completely. Uh, that was when the channel first started. So this pipe is the first time I've ever fabricated. I'm not a fabricator, so I'm not gonna say fabricated because I guess that's like mean to some fabricators. Um, I, I, I had to make a pipe um, and make it to where I could set my turbo on it and get all the airflow. Now the hot side is not completely done because I do have to add wastegates, which I'm thinking about adding up here around like the collector. Um, so, and I say wastegates because there's gonna be two of them. So let me go ahead and get this bolted up and I'll show you how it looks in the car. We can even bolt the turbo to it and that will wrap up the video. So give me just a second, we'll go ahead and do that. Here it is, the crossover pipe. Comes in and out as one piece, sits on the bracket. I am impressed. I'm impressed with myself because I've never done anything like this. Um, some people are gonna be like, oh, it's an easy task, blah, blah, blah. Cool, I'm glad you think it's easy. I didn't think it was super easy. Um, and you know, rub it in some more. Anyway, it, no, for real, if you think it's easy, that's good. I'm glad that you're good at fabricating stuff. I'm not. I uh, don't fabricate things. Um, the extent of my welding abilities is before this week was uh, this Harbor Freight flux core welder that we have. Um, so hit me with some of this and a little bit of gas and some pipe and I made this happen. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let me go ahead and show you the turbo on it. Give me just a second. I'll plop the turbo down on it and you can see how it's gonna be set up in the in the car. Here's how the turbo sits. I didn't throw the bolts in it, uh, I just threw a clamp on it. But here's how the turbo sits in the car. It'll sit like this. Got the crossover pipe coming over here, up into that. And it should work. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited, I'm really excited for how it's turning out. Um, and I'm really happy that I went this route and yeah. I hope this video helps you if you are putting an LS in your uh, Datsun. Honestly, um, if you're putting an LS in anything, this could help you. Um, it may be easier because of your application. Who is bright out, boy? Oh, quarantine life. Let me go back inside. It hurts the eyes, dude. Hold on, whew. Uh, but really this could help you with any application if you have, if you're LS turboing anything and you're doing a single turbo, um, you can use the methods that I used here um, and have a good result. Um, if this video helped you at all, if you just enjoy watching my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, 
share, uh, comment below. What are you working on during this whole coronavirus thing? Hit me below um, on the on, on what you're working on so that I know. Um, this video, I haven't even released the first video yet. I'm getting ready to edit that video today. Um, and then I'll edit this video and release this a couple days later. But I just wanna make sure everybody's staying safe. Um, remember, I do have shirts and merch for sale. It does help out a ton. Um, I know the times are tight, so if not, don't feel bad. I understand. I hope to see you guys at some meets this summer as long as this stuff passes away and uh, goes away. And we'll get to Atlanta this time. This time, the Dotson should be ready by IA because it's pushed back for a few months. So, hope to see you guys there. Have a good day and uh, catch you on the flip side. Bye.